Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impressions video. We are testing out a foundation that I've heard so many people rave about and I've never ever tried any of their foundations really. It is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm super excited about this. I knew I wanted to splurge on a really nice foundation, but I wasn't sure quite which one I wanted to get. There was a couple that were kind of neck and neck, but I decided in the moment at the store to finally purchase a NARS foundation. I've been wanting to try a NARS foundation for quite some time now, and I decided to go with this guy. Isn't the packaging like too cute? If you want to see my thoughts and first impressions on this foundation, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off by moisturizing and priming. I always like to use, when I'm doing first impressions videos, I like to use stuff that I always know that is gonna work well with for me. So the first thing is moisturizing. So I've been using the Derma E Vitamin C Moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that. Just a touch. I just woke up, so we've cleansed and now we just need to moisturize the skin. So the primer that I've been loving and I've loved for years and years and years, this is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is the smoothing primer. I just really like this. I find it works with so many foundations and that's why I typically use this when I do my first impressions because I know it's not going to do anything weird to my skin or just like not work with the foundation. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this <laughs> in my typical area. So like right in my cheek area, it just really helps smooth it out my forehead and then whatever is left over I take on my chin and then kind of like disperse it and I really like to push I got some in my hair onto the foundation so as you guys know we are doing a first impressions on the NARS foundation this is the all day luminous weightless foundation so not the sheer glow so I do have oily combination skin very oily right here and then kind of combo on the cheeks so this is what the packaging looks like like I die for NARS packaging is so gorgeous so it doesn't have a pump but it has this like stick it's not a dropper it's just a stick I don't really know if that's useful I guess you could attach a pump um, you can get pumps I believe NARS actually sells their own pumps on their website but you can also get pumps at Mac but I don't have one so we're gonna have to work with this color wise I got medium one Punjab Let's shake it up for a second. I think I'm just gonna apply it like directly. Just try it like this, I suppose. That should be good. And I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender. I just know that my beauty blender works with most foundations. So we're just gonna try it with the beauty blender today. My cat's in here. <laughs> so color-wise, I think it's pretty good. I like it, and it'll look really good when I have my like um, my body blur on because I've been wearing that a lot lately in the summer months. So I think color-wise, it's pretty good. It's very full coverage. So I have blended out completely one side of the face, and I really like the color so far and I really like the coverage and then the coverage is really really good I'm just bringing it down my neck a little bit Ugh. so looking at it from this point of view I definitely think it's a shade darker than my chest but for some reason like my arms are darker than my chest as well so I think it definitely matches my arms my chest just does not tan so that's why I typically go in with like my body blur <laughs> to help even that out so that's probably what I'm gonna do today because nothing ever matches like my neck's all right it's just like my chest doesn't tan but as you can see like it looks pretty good with my arms so that's good I'm gonna finish my face and then come back and chat more about the foundation and my first impression thoughts and then I think today what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come back like later in the day because right now it is because right now it is 9 41 in the morning it's pretty early it's pretty early for a Sunday for me I'm going to let this sit I'm going out in the Sun I'm going out for lunch so 
after that, maybe at around 4 o'clock, I can come back on and give you an update because I think that would be really cool. I really like it when other people do that. So I think that would be a very true review of the foundation first impressions wise to let you guys know how it sat on my face all day long. So I'm going to finish up my makeup and then come back and chat a little bit like about the foundation, the price, the shades, blah, blah, blah. So be right back. All right, I finished up my makeup, and as you can see, it looks so much better. I also added a little bit of my body blur to my chest and shoulders just to really bring it all together, but it overall really does look really nice. I love the coverage, and I love the color. Again, um, the color I got was Medium One Punjab. And just to let you guys know, I looked it up on Sephora because I know that their foundations have like specifics to them, so Punjab was a medium with golden peachy undertones. I don't think I knew that. <laughs> Definitely have golden undertones, but I think I'm more yellow than peach, but I still think it worked all right. I don't think I'm going to be exchanging it because the next one, the one that has yellow undertones, I now remember that one. That one was the medium one. This is medium two. So medium one actually looked darker than medium two, and I knew that that was not going to work for me. So um, I'm, I am happy with the color and even though the undertone says pink, I really think it shows a lot more golden than pink. So I'm very much so happy with it. But let's just talk about the actual foundation. So it is a little bit more on the pricey side. It was $60 Canadian. That's a little bit of a splurge for me. I typically don't like spending too much money on makeup. I'm just like that. I just, I really like shopping the drugstore. But I want to splurge and I decided to get this foundation. I knew I wanted to get a high-end foundation that I was going to love for special occasions. Right now, the only like really high-end foundation that I have that I like for special occasions is my Makeup Forever HD. So I kind of wanted to get another one and one that was a little bit more summer oriented. So I felt like NARS would be a really great one because it is an all-day luminous wear foundation. $60, that sucks, but it's really good foundation so far. I really like it. it has 20 shades in its collection. That's not that great, but it does have really good instructions on what the undertones are and the levels. So it has light, light, medium, 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 dark, and dark. So it kind of separates them and then it gives you the undertones with all of the shade ranges as well. So that's very, very helpful. So the coverage is definitely full. I could tell the second that I started applying it on the first cheek that it was going to be a really full coverage foundation, which I don't mind. Mind. and I also blended it out with my beauty blender so I think if you went in with a brush it would have been even more full coverage so I think personally haven't tried it with a brush yet but I really liked applying it with my beauty blender I actually prefer applying all foundations with beauty blenders or any sponges lately I've been really trying out a lot of different beauty sponges but my go-to has always been my beauty blender I personally have oily to combination skin so far it's looking really really good it applied really nicely and as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna come back like later on in the day probably around four or five o'clock and give you guys an update on how it's sitting on the skin I'm feeling a little like hot right now but I'm under my lights that always happens so I'm hoping to get out of here quickly so I'm out of the lights and more in like direct sunlight and stuff like that to see how it really truly sits on the skin all day long to give you guys a little bit of an update and kind of closing remarks. So overall I'm really liking the way that it's looking on the skin right now. I am excited to see how it wears throughout the day and I will be back soon to give you guys an update. It is now 5.33 in the evening and as you can see the, it, the foundation has really worn quite well. The only thing that I've noticed is that my blush has really disappeared so we're going to touch that up hella quickly. I really like this style of like coming back on like later on in the day so I'm just going to touch up the cheeks. My highlight has stayed on pretty good and since I did a cream contour today um, my contour is fine as well, but just a little bit of blush touch up. Lastly, I'm just going to take some blotting papers and just blot my T-zone. That's my areas where I get really, really oily. But honest to God, like, it's really looking pretty good as well for oils. But we're just going to do this. This always makes it look like, like, look at that. It looks so bad, but... Ooh, yuck. I'm just going to blot... So overall, I really, really like this foundation. I think it is well worth the $60. I know that's expensive, but it really looks beautiful on the skin. Like, I feel like my skin looks at its best right now. I don't think I have a foundation that's quite like this that has a natural finish, but doesn't get oily throughout the day because I am very oily. So foundations such as like the Pro Glow, 
I have to set that like every three hours or else it's just not gonna look quite nice. This one though, really it didn't have that issue with it. And ugh, the packaging is just so chic. So yes, as of right now, I really, really enjoy it. As you guys know, typically when foundations don't have a pump, I'm like a little disappointed unless it's a squeezy tube. This one, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have a pump. It just has this weird like baton. I don't even know, stick. I think that I'll probably be investing in a pump for the foundation because I'm not overly sure how I feel about that stick. Like, I don't really know. I just, it didn't, it didn't cause any problems for me, but it's just, it's kind of a weird concept to just put a stick and not an applicator or a pump, but I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Overall, I really, really like this foundation. I definitely give it two thumbs up. I suggest it for somebody who has oily skin like myself because it clearly lasted all day long and definitely recommend it for somebody with dry skin because I think that this would look really, really beautiful on your skin and definitely last you all day long. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of first impressions and review. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this style of review. I think this is the first time I've ever filmed a first impressions video where I filmed in the morning and came back to check in later on in the day. So I really like that, especially with foundation. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of those styled videos for foundation reviews specifically. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and first impressions on the NARS Luminous All Day Foundation. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.